Arriving for a crunch meeting in Brussels, EU officials stepped up the pressure on Ireland to sign up to a bailout package. They worry that market jitters over Ireland's 20 billion euro debt could spill over to the entire eurozone. And already plans are afoot to create a lifeline for Ireland. We are discussing with uh, both uh, the ECB and, uh, and the IMF uh, and of course uh, with the Irish uh, authorities uh, in order to find uh, solutions to the serious uh, problems in the, uh, in the Irish uh, banking sector. We have some concern about the situation, of course, and uh, we know that it was necessary to organize some recapitalization in the banks and with an effect on the budget. But uh, I repeat, first of all, we will uh, listen to the, so the comments of different colleagues, not only for Ireland. But the Irish government is still resisting the offer of a lifeline from the EU. Irish commentators say that would come with a very high price tag for their country. I think the implication must be that if the Irish government is to uh, accept emergency aid in this way, that you are really uh, you're involving yourself in what is to all intents and purposes a bailout. And this is something which the government is very reluctant to, to do because there are implications for Irish sovereignty. There is the question of intrusion in important and sensitive economic decisions. You have weakness on the part of the government in the first case. And you also have a very, very difficult budget to be executed in the next couple of weeks. So there is, a, there is anxiety that to go down uh, the road of taking emergency aid would really uh, create uh, quite significant problems for the Irish government. It looks increasingly likely that Ireland will struggle to fend off attempts to get it to accept some kind of a bailout from the EU. Eurozone members say it's not just its survival that's at stake, but the survival of the entire Eurozone. Yet the Irish government also knows that its very survival is at stake and that if it accepts such a bailout, it could very well fall in the coming weeks. Vanessa Mulk, Channel News Asia, Brussels.